So this is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or PIH. And it's not a scar, but it can look similar to one. PIH refers to the darkening of the skin that occurs after an inflammatory skin condition, such as acne, eczema, injuries, or frictions when it heals. It happens because the skin produces excess melanin, which is the pigment responsible for our skin color as it heals. The underlying collagen is intact, so the texture of the skin is not permanently affected. On the other hand, these are indented acne scars. The indentations and uneven texture occur when inflammation damages the dermal collagen. However, unlike scars, PIH typically fades with proper care and treatment such as sunscreen, exfoliations, or targeted treatments for deeper pigments. But it can take several months. Acne scars, on the other hand, require treatments that stimulate collagen to restore the skin structure. Not every dark mark or uneven area after acne is a scar. Differentiating between PIH and acne scarring is very important because the underlying skin problems and treatment approach are completely different. So why does this distinction matter? Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation can be managed with topical brightening agents, antioxidants, gentle chemical peels, treatment creams, and consistent sunscreen use. For stubborn or persistent pigmentations that do not respond to these measures, lasers or light-based treatments can be used to accelerate the pigment clearance safely, targeting the pigment without causing significant damage to the surrounding skin. Acne scars, on the other hand, especially atrophic or indented scars, result from the loss or disruption of dermal collagen. Unlike post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, these scars cannot improve with topical treatments alone. Effective management requires collagen-stimulating procedures that promote dermal remodeling. Depending on the type, the depth, and the location of the scar, treatment options include microneedling, fractional or ablative lasers, as well as subcision. Microneedling helps create controlled micro-injuries to stimulate collagen production and improve the skin texture. Fractional or non-ablative lasers help target the dermis to remodel the scar tissue while leaving the surrounding skin intact. Subcision is a minor procedure that releases the teated fibrous bands beneath the depressed scars, allowing the skin to lift. Often, achieving the best results requires a customized combination of treatments, carefully selected based on the type, the depth, and the severity of the patient's scars. A thorough assessment ensures that the approach is both safe and effective. If you're not sure, it's best to speak to your medical practitioner to find out what are your treatment options. 